Hi morning. Um, today I'm going to concentrate on doing um, getting the scuttle out if I can. Um, I've done most of the roof, ground down. I haven't done those gutters yet. Um, I think that may be a bit of a cosmetic thing. Right, let's try and get the MET stuff done first. I need to get that screen back in, dash back, etc. So yeah, let's crack on. First thing to come off is the grill. It's these quarter turn. There's a few of them in there. Quite often, oh, I don't know Should, in theory, pop out after this. Ooh, looks loose. So what's happening? That's it. So that's nice and simple to take out. We probably all knew that anyway. Um, next, got to look at the wipers. Pop them off. Nuts, but silly me. I don't know if I've got to take the whole assembly out or not. I think I'll spray a bit of easing oil on them. These have got to pop out. As far as I know, they normally break. I've got a spare pair, but I think um, you can upgrade with some Suzuki ones, which are um, got three jets, I believe. I might have a look into that. I'm not sure. Anybody's uh, done that before, give us a comment and tell us. But yeah, so it's coming out because of this, this and in there, and the actual lips got as well there. So, a bit more fettling. It's a shame most of it's okay, but you know, if I can drill out all these spot welds, you can see the spot welds here. See that there? Basically, you use a flat bottom drill, drill that out. And separate the two um, lips, I guess. So the manure in there. Is it two pieces? Yeah, it's two. Sometimes they have three layers, sometimes they have two. I'm hoping some spot welds under there as well. Oh yeah. There's one there. There, there, so have to take all this stuff off and do the spot welds on that as well. the grills out that and that little inner grill here it was only four tiny little screws and then you just had to lever off slightly because there were um, little clips built into the plastic grill that headlights out I left this one in just to show how easy it's just four screws little uh, crosshead screws they pop out and then you unplug the back um, I'm planning whether it'll work or not, to cut down just inside that seam, drill out all the spot welds I can. Um, obviously, some around here, spot welds that don't exist anymore, so I'm just going to have to cut along here with the grinder, cut down down there, and hopefully, drill out all the spot welds along the bottom. Okay guys, um, just for you who don't know what how to drill out a spot weld, I'm going to try this, I don't know if it will work. Right, this is a spot weld drill. Is that focusing? Go on, focus. Can you see? It's actually a flat bottom drill. So it's supposed to just take the outer face of the material off, um, leaving the back intact so you can weld to it. So I'll have a go at this. Whether it'll work or not I don't know because um, I've got a bit wobbly here but I'll have a go. I have just put a tiny little centre pop on there to try and centre it as I drill first time. And these ones I've got are cobalt drills so you don't want to run them too fast. I'll just 
seen a little bit of rust, so that means we've probably broken through the next layer. Right. Can you see that from that angle? No, you cannot. Right, I'll just move in. So what I've done, just drilled the outer surface away through the old spot well. So it should leave the back piece intact, focus, apart from that little dimple inwards. But when we um, spot will do, that will go there, so that won't be a problem. So all I need to do now is continue along, and then put a little wedge in there, just to split it apart. I'll get a wedge and see if we can do that. Right, so just got this little wedge, see if I can get it in there. I hope I don't knock the camera off. I don't know if you can see. I'm in my way there. So that has gone and just separated the two pieces together. See? So you just can you see it moving? I don't know if you can. So that's just separated the two pieces. So I've just got to do that on every one all the way along where I can and below and then separate the panel. So that is how to drill out a spot well. Okay that's all of them done. All along the top. Sorry got to go slower my daughter said go too fast when you're traveling along stuff. There. All the way done along there, as far as I can go, I've got a cut down there because I can't find the spot weld in the rust. And in under, can you see that? All the way along. In that position there, a sealer in between, just holding it. And behind that big lump there, is a big wadge of sealer as well so you've got to scrape that out before it frees off so all done all along and now I'm just going to cut down this side just inside the seam and this side just inside the seam that's next all right so that's cut cut down through And in underneath there. Same on this side. And I've had to cut just along these edges here where I can get the spot welds. Done the same on the other side. I'll clean that up when I can get to it. One thing I did notice, it, which might make it a bit more awkward, just going inside now. Inside there. That joint that you can see, that's got a ton of sealer on it. So I don't know. That's better. That's obviously the underside of the scuttle. Um, I don't know how thick that's going to be, and I can't reach a lot of it. So um, I might have to just tear that away or cut it or something. We'll see when I start pulling it. Okay, let's go to the outside and see if I can pull it off.
Right, well, we're stuck on by the washer. Um, pipes. I'm hanging them off. That sealer didn't have any resistance. So there we are there. Get those pipes off in a minute. So we've got some of the shall we? All right, there's the old panel off. That's the inside. Try and get a bit more light on it this time. So all that moisture is, I've sprayed um, release fluid on uh, the, those screws holding on the wiper. What do you want to call that? Bracket bearing, something like that. Um, so, like I was saying earlier, got a bit of repair to do along there. And this front edge, you can see, it's not too bad along this bit. It's the edges that get it by the looks of things. I haven't got that bit off yet. One thing I have noticed, I keep on saying that, something I've noticed is in there, I'll move the light. You see that? Two different colours, there's been a panel welded in. So I've always suspected this has had a bump on this corner just by you know the condition of this. It's a bit not very good, but it looks like someone's put a, another corner on it. That's alright, I've got a body cut. I can change that at some point. Huh. Make a nice video changing that. Right, let's get to cleaning up. All right, spent some time cleaning up. Um, Use a rotary wire brush on the grinder for this. Um, so yeah, that lip along there has had it quite a way along. Sort of only just. Here it's starting to get a bit more solid, and then back to rough again. Um, not sure. Time to think, I think. Time to think, I think. Time to think about it. Um, got a little hole there. My thinking at the moment on that is I'm going to have to work on this front corner after, so I might just bodge it up for now just to make it watertight until I get to change this corner. I do have a body cut, I think I said that earlier. Um, so we'll see. But that's all cleaned up. That's um, where it's the new front panel scuttle is going to attach to. This lower edge, all pretty good Nick. All I've done is wire brushed it. Um, I'll go along with a, a flapper wheel just to smooth it out, ready for spot welds. Uh, this corner actually went through just that hole. Yeah, I got a bit carried away with the spot weld drill. It happens. Um, so what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll fill with that, that with a bit of weld. There's a little, little technique to filling holes, I'll show that to you later. But, so the edges are pretty good. It's just that inner top lip. So I'll see what metal or body cuts I've got, see if I can do anything with it. Okay. Right, um, that's what I'm going to call it a day for this uh, video. So um, if you're finding this interesting, or I hope you find it interesting, Give us a thumbs up. Um, and if you want like to keep up with what I'm doing, please subscribe. Um, I think I've got 14 subscribers the last count. Yay! So uh, yeah, give us a like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Alright, cheers!